Skippers, this is Dawn from DawnStippingThoughts.net and today we're going to make this butterfly easel card. It sits up like that. Isn't it pretty? Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so we're using the Crumb Cake cardstock and this is cut at four and a quarter by 11. And then we're using two pieces of the Very Vanilla and this is cut at four by five and a quarter, both of them. Okay, so first we're going to go ahead and do some stamping. Okay, so we're using the Butterfly Basics stamp set. We're going to pretty much use all these images except for this one and this one. Yeah, that's pretty great. Okay, so we're going to use the Crumb Cake Classic Ink. And first I'm going to go ahead and sponge both pieces. So I'm going to go ahead and stamp the front piece of the card, which you can hardly see on this finished card just because there's so many layers on it, but it's kind of like a collage stamping. So we're just going to, I'm just going to go ahead and stamp with the, the crumb cake. Okay, so I'm going to grab another piece of Fairy Vanilla and I'm going to stamp Sending Wishes Your Way. And then we're going to grab the extra large oval punch. Punch that out. Okay, and then we're going to stamp a couple butterflies. This is the smaller butterfly in the stamp set. Stamp a few of those. And we're going to use the Bitty Butterfly Punch. And shell three of those out. Okay, and we're going to sponge all the little pieces. Okay. I think that's all the stamping we need to do. So let's go ahead and get our big shot out. Okay, so I'm going to use the butterflies thinlets and we're going to use this butterfly and also this one. And I got a piece of crumb cake and then also a piece of the gold foil sheets. And once again, we're going to use the wax paper and a fabric softener sheet. So I'm just going to go ahead and fold this one over to double it. And we're going to cut out the crumb cake butterfly first. I'm just going to take a piece of wax paper and then put the butterfly on top of the, the wax paper and then run this through a couple times. just that easy. All those little pieces just come flying out. Okay, okay. so now we're going to go ahead and cut the foil sheet with this butterfly. And for this card I would do this twice and I went ahead already and did that for the second one. So let's go ahead and move the big shot. Okay, so I already have this one done so let me show you what I did. I'm going to use the glue dots and I'm just going to take two glue dots and I'm going to put it behind this butterfly. And then I'm going to take the gold butterfly and just layer that behind it. Okay, super cute. And then we're going to pop that up with the dimensional, just like that. 
All right, so now we're ready to go ahead and assemble the card. But first we're gonna go ahead and score. Okay, so to make the ESO card, we're gonna take the four and a quarter by 11 piece of cardstock, and we're gonna score this at five and a half, which is gonna be in the center. And then depending on how you want your card to sit, I think I'm gonna do this one the opposite way, just to show you that you can go either way. So I am scored it from the left to the right, this time I'm going to score from the right to the left, okay? So it just depends on how you want to have your card setting up. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take this corner here, that score line, and put it down to the point, and I'm going to score. Just like that. So then this is going to make your ESO part of your card. So when it sits up, it sets up like that. Okay, so now this is the front, so now we're going to cut it the same way as we scored the base card. We're going to cut it from the right side to the left, point to point. Make sure that's right, lined up perfect. Okay, so then see, this is going to go here, and then this piece is going to go on here, just like that. Okay, okay so now we're going to go ahead and put this together. And then this is going to go on the inside. Okay, so now the trick to decorating your card is what you want it to look like when it's sitting up. So I want the birthday or the happy birthday greeting for the inside to go in first, just so that I can have it propped up the way I want it when it's sitting up. Okay? So the first butterfly I'm going to go ahead and put on up here towards the top, just like that. And then this butterfly I'm going to position, it's just a matter of what you want it to look like, I guess. I want it to sit up like that, okay? And then take your greeting, sending wishes your way, and I'm going to put that right on the edge right here, okay? So when it sits up, it sits up like that. Isn't it cute? So then you're just going to go ahead and decorate the inside with a couple of the butterflies. And then a couple on the outside, on the front. One right there. Okay. So one more thing. We're going to go ahead and add some basic pearls. And I went ahead already and pre-cut a couple of the strips for the larger butterflies. And then just put a couple on the smaller butterflies. So pretty. I'm going to put some on the birthday here. Just like that. So it just depends on how you want to score See, this one scores from right to left, and it sits up like that. And then this one scores from left to right, and it sits up like this. Okay? Okay, so then you just fold it flat, and it looks like that. Okay, thanks for stopping by, and we'll see you later. Bye!